Hello guys and welcome to another HackerRank video. Today we're going to be solving sparse array. We're given a collection of input strings and a collection of query string. For each query string we need to determine how many times it occurs in the input strings. So if we're given the input collection of strings A, B, A, B, A, B, C and the collection of query strings A, B, A, B, C, B, C, we can see that A, B occurs twice in the input collections of strings, and A, B, C appears once, and B, C appears zero times in this collection. So we know that for A, we return two, and for A, B, C, we return one, and for B, C, we return zero. So we know that the number of items we need to return in our result has to match the number of items in the query. All right. So let's go ahead and look at this problem. I'm gonna go ahead and do a walkthrough of the problem and then we're gonna go ahead and write some code. And let me create a sticky note. I'll just paste this here. All right. So to easily solve this problem, what we need to do is keep account of the uh, number of time we see the string. And the best data structure to do this would be maps or hash maps, because hash maps, we can keep a key and a value. In this problem, the key is going to be the actual string and then the value is going to be the occurrence. So what we're going to do here is create our map and remember that a map, right, takes in a key and a value. So we're going to have our key and then our value. And for this problem, let me try to make this as nice as I can. All right, so the first time we go through um, A, B, A, right? It's not going to be in the map, so we're going to go ahead here and put A, B, A. All right, and we've seen it once, so we're going to put one in the map. And then we go, we, we see B, A, B, A, so we put B, A, B, A. And we've seen it once, so the value is going to be one. And then we see A, B, A again. So what we're going to do is update this value to two. So we can erase this right here and put a two here, right? And then we're at our last value, which is going to be uh, x, z, um, x, b, and we see that just once. So what we're going to do now is go over our query string. And for our query string, we're going to create an array of an int array of size three. I'm going to call this A. And this is going to equal to, and I'm just going to, we're just going to randomly fill this out with the right values. So what we do is we go to, um, we get our a b a string here we go to our map we grab the value it's going to be two so we're going to put two in the map and then we go for x z um x b here which is this one right here and the value is one and then we go for a b and since a b doesn't exist in the map we're going to put a zero here and this should be you know the answer for this portion so if we go back here and look at this it should be two one zero and we have two one zero all right so I'm gonna go ahead here and just let me clear everything and then we're gonna do the next one so let's copy this and let's create a new sticky gonna paste this here again and what we're gonna do is create our map again put our key value pairs just gonna make this like this there we go all right so 
we go over our inputs. So we have D, E, F, and the value is going to be one because we just saw that the first time. And then we have D, E, sorry for my writing, I'm using my mouse. So, and we've seen that just once. And then we have F, G, H, and we've seen that just once. So now we go through our queries. Remember that our queries has to, the, the result has to be, you know, the size of the query. So we're going to do, you know, int um, array, call this one A or, you know, and this is gonna equal, and we could just fill this out. So for um, DE, it's going to be one, and then we have L, M, N. Well, we don't have any L, M, N in the map, so we're gonna go ahead and put a zero. And then for F, G, H, we have an F, G, H as one. So we get um, one, zero, one here. So if you go down, we get a one, zero, one. The last one is pretty long, but I think you guys should understand how the problem works now. And if I were to code it, it would be a lot easier to just understand um, the process for it. So what we're going to do is just code this problem. So the first thing that we need to do is um, we're going to create a map. So map, and this is going to take a string, and it's going to take an integer. And I'm just going to call it map. It's going to equal to new hash map so what we need to do is go over our uh, input strings so I'm going to say for string call this one content and strings we're going to say that if um, map that contains a key content, then what we're going to do is increase the value by one because we've already seen that before. So we're gonna say um, map dot put. And what we wanna do is put the content, right? And then we want to um, do map that get and when we get we're gonna get the actual value for this and we're gonna get the value of content right plus one else we haven't seen this before so what we're going to do is just insert the content plus and then the one so we're gonna do map that put I'm gonna do uh, content and we're gonna pass one here because we've seen this for the first time now that we're done with this we need to go ahead here and create our um, result array so we'll do that we'll call the result this is going to equal to new int array and we're going to pass in queries that length and now I'm going to say that for okay so now we need to go over our queries look at the value in the map and then fill out that spot so the way we can do this is either keep an index outside or just create a regular for loop so let's just do the regular for loop index it's going to equal to zero and um, index is less than result dot length index plus plus. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to say that our result, right? And we're going to pass in the index here. It's going to equal and 
what we want to do is check to see if the value is in the map. If the value is in the map, we want to put get the value. If it's not, we want to insert a zero in that spot. So we're going to say that um, map that contain um, contains key, and we're going to do um, queries. All right, so we're going to do queries and then pass in the index. So if this contains that, what we want to do is um, return um, map, right, dot get, and we want to do is get the um, value of the query. So I'm going to say queries, and then I'm going to pass in the index. Um, else, we're going to go ahead and put a zero there, all right? And then we can just go ahead now and um, return the result. All right, and this is it for this problem. Let's uh, submit. If there are any errors, we can fix this. And we're good to go. And let's submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoy the content of the channel, please subscribe. Bye-bye.